Hey everyone, I'm here today just to help you uh, figure out how you can make PDFs editable so that you can upload them to Google Classroom. So currently right now, if you're looking in your drive and you see a bunch of PDFs, you can't really get the kids to interact with them rather than them printing and then maybe taking pictures and submitting them to you. So I'm gonna show you a workaround that works for me. So if you see here that this is a PDF and say I want to assign this to Google Classroom while we're doing some online learning. So I'm gonna open it. And if you look, open it with, none of these really format correctly. So I'm gonna download my file and wait for that. It's quite a large document, so it might take a few moments. And when it's done, I am going to click on here and it's gonna open it in a separate PDF file. To get something on the whole page, if you just click this fit to page and it will show the whole thing. So now what you're going to do is most of us are comfortable with creating Google Slides. Now, a cool thing about Google Slides is you're just gonna create a new one and you're gonna format the size of the page. So usually the, the default is the widescreen mode. I want to customize this to make it the same length of a regular piece of paper because all of these are formatted to do so. So if you go file, page setup and you can actually customize this. So we are going to customize the to custom and we are going to make this 8.5 times 11 and apply that. And I'm going to make my layout blank because what I'm going to be doing is locking this in. So we have our page here, get rid of our themes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my PowerPoint and I'm actually going, or uh, this PDF document that I've loaded, and I'm gonna be locking these in because I don't wanna take a screenshot and paste it in if the kids can then move that slide and then it gets all formatted incorrectly. So I'm gonna try to find some April responses for these kiddos to work on. Perfect, so I want this title page here. Now to take a screenshot on a Chromebook, you press the shift control. And then at the top uh, bar, there's one in the middle with a square and two lines. That's your screen. And I'm going to select the entire page. So now that's saved to my clipboard. If I go back to my presentation, I'm going to lock this in as actually the background. I'm gonna choose the image. find it from my files. Select the most recent screenshot you took. And then you are done. So now that is loaded. So right now this one isn't editable at all. So I am going to go to the next one. So I'm gonna add a blank page. going to go back to that PDF that I have. Now this is where I want them to write. Now I want to save my kids some printer and save the environment here. So we're going to just select the size of that page. Again, it's downloading the screenshot. So now you're going to go change the background, lock this in by choosing that screenshot as your background image. select your file, upload it, and press done. Now that locks it in. So if you zoom in, you will be able to see this pretty clearly. And what you can do is you can add a text box now where the kids can start to write. So sometimes just to let them know that there is a text box here, I can put text and then they'll know how to do that. And
again, just I want them to do this one. So creating that text box, text, you can always move that right up so it's just on the line. Create another one there. And there you're good to go and you can keep adding all of the pages of the document that you need and then you'll be able to share it onto Google Classroom and just title that up. Anyways, hope that helps for you when you are switching to some online learning.